What up, YouTube? Y'all already know, Big Lou, tapping back in, but what it do with Big Lou, NFZR2, baby, baby. So, check it out. As you can see from that thumbnail, UFC, MMA's on the, on the menu, uh, UFC 301 was, you know, called King of Rio, or, yeah, Re uh, King, King of Rio, uh, because of Jose Aldo being on the card, pretty much the whole card up and down the, t the ticket was, uh, br Brazilian fighters, uh, you know, on one, at least one corner, um, the main event, the co-main event, um, Anthony Smith's fight, and then also Michael Pareda, um, as well as others, but this, um, this video was regarding when Anthony Smith was called out for his fight. Uh, the light heavyweight champion, former middleweight champion, was in the crowd. And he said, uh, and when uh, Anthony Smith, and I was speaking of Potan, right? Potan, uh, Alex Pareda. When he was, Anthony Smith was uh, introduced, he put his head on one of his trainers like he, like he was asleep. Well, Anthony Smith, like I had said, was 38 and 9, 38 and 17, I think, 38 and 19, something like that. He has a ton of losses, but in this game, MMA, you know, UFC, Strike Force, whatever, uh, whatever organization you fight out of, it's very rare that you're going to have guys that are undefeated uh, or even, you know, one, two, three losses. I mean, I mean, we can count on our hand how many guys are like that, right? I, I said, I've said it numerous times. Uh, GSP, he lost twice. He came back and beat both mats, two different mats, right? Uh, Khabib, no losses. John Jones, I believe John Jones, no losses. He might have one because of no contest, but I believe it's all no, not no uh, losses. He might have a no contest because of a uh, test or something. Um, on top of that, you got uh, uh. Uh, Kamar Usman's lost what, twice for sure, and I think it's three times. Izzy's lost three times, you know what I mean? So, it's very rare, like I said, that you're going to find a guy with, you know, one, two losses, let alone undefeated. Um, so, anyways, a Anthony Smith went in there in the octagon in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, and he got a first round, uh, I think it was a choke guillotine to to beat Vitor Perino, Petrino, excuse me, and um, and it was you know it was very dis <laughs> very disrespectful at the least that the champ did that right. So now we got some bad blood between the champ and um, the champion uh, Alex Pareda and a Anthony Smith. So it apparently uh, there's been a challenge out there now. This is where it's getting all kind of jacked up because. John Jones put a challenge out for Pareda. I read in an article yesterday, Pareda said he's going to be trying to put on 50 pounds to go up to heavyweight. Um, you know, and so I don't know where, where this is going, but this is an article from Essentially Sports. This is just sad at this point. MMA world erupts as Alex Pareda embarrasses Anthony Smith in front of thousands at UFC 301. And like I said, this was before Anthony Smith went in there and kicked ass. Um, and the guy that Anthony Smith fought was undefeated, I believe, and uh, and he was 26 years old. Even when he's not fighting, Alex Pereira does not seem to have any issue with staying in the spotlight. The Brazilian champion was in attendance at UFC 301 in Rio when some of the promotion's best fighters put on a show for the people of Brazil. From brutal knockouts to submission finishes, the event had everything. One of those finishes came in the main card about between Anthony Smith and Vitor Petrino. But the discussions in the aftermath of this fight seem to be centered around Poton. Okay. 35-year-old Anthony Smith entered the fight as an underdog, mainly because of his recent form. However, Lionheart surprised everyone with his performance, finishing the undefeated 26-year-old in the first round via a guillotine choke. Witnessing the fight from close quarters was current light heavyweight champ Alex Pereira, he shared a video on his, on his Instagram account where he mocked Anthony Smith. The video featured Pareda sleeping while Smith was being introduced before his fight. 
I don't know yet if I'm going to use that thumbnail or if I'm going to find a, uh, use one with them both on the thumbnail. But this move from the two weight UFC champion comes from the recent back and forth between him and Smith. Apparently, the 36 year old does not feel Smith gives him enough credit. Potan had taken offense, taken offense to Smith's refusal to acknowledge his MMA skills and even challenge the former title challenger to a grappling match. No, uh, I don't think I think Anthony Smith would tear him up in a grappling match. Alex Pereira sucks at grappling. Uh, his wrestling sucks. That's why John Jones would destroy him. And I don't think he could take John John Jones's power either. Um, if they just strike, you know, did a strike straight up striker striking fight. Uh, uh, Smith before his UFC 301 fight drew considerable attention from the fans because of his comments on Pereira's fighting style. Pareda responded in his style and challenged Lionheart for a grappling battle with 50K on the line to go down at the UFC Performance Institute. He said that they could start the match with Smith on his back and with his hooks in. They would grapple for five minutes, and if Pareda can free himself and stand up, he wins. If he fails to do so, or if Smith submits him, the latter would earn the 50K. So... In response, following his win at the UFC 301, Smith accepted the challenge and responded to his earlier comments about calling Parada's black belt fraudulent. He clarified, maybe I meant, I don't know, like, I don't believe that Parada is probably a high-level black belt in the GI. I don't think he's probably, like, crazy competitive, like, a in, like in an IBJJF format. But I would never call some anybody's ju jujitsu black belt fraudulent. It seems that Potan is serious about the challenge, and his inst and his uh, Instagram post is proof that he isn't done with Smith. The fans also took notice of Parada's shenanigans at UFC 301 and had a lot to say online. Leave that child alone. Fans give out mixed reactions on Parada's mocking Anthony Smith. The comment section was filled with some mixed reactions about the latest jib. While some enjoyed it, others disregarded it. After Smith's latest performance, some fans believe he would do the same to Pareda despite him being a knockout specialist. Coming out in support of the UFC 301 winner, a fan wrote, He will sleep you, bro. Smith's guillotine choke has also gathered considerable attention from the fans, and they believe he can pull it off against Pareda as well. While addressing the media after the event, Smith responded to the challenge. Lionheart said, so I start off off the, so I start, so I start off his back, hooks in, and I have got five minutes to finish him, and he wants to put a 50k on it. I'll take his 50k. I'll take his money. If I start off his back, I'll choke the shit out of him. <laughs> Which that's what I believe too. A certain section of fans, however, didn't want Parade to waste his time and give any undue importance to the 10th rank light heavyweight. Instead, they want him to focus on getting a third belt in the UFC. A fan echoed the same sentiment as they wrote, leave that leave that child alone, Potan. Uh, Alex Pareda's skill set and his record have already made him a huge star in the UFC, losing only one out of eight fights. He has already won two UFC belts, and the fans want him to achieve more rather than giving importance to Smith. Keeping winning, keep winning champ, one, one comment read. Smith entered the bout against the undefeated Petrino, having lost to... Khalil Round, Roundtree via stoppage. He also dropped three of his past four outings. As such, some fans might feel that Pareda is on a different level as compared to Smith. Meanwhile, a handful of MMA fans seem disheartened by the fallout between the two fighters and their constant back and forth online as they wrote, This is just sad at this point. Lionheart, have received, Lionheart has received criticism from the MMA community for his comments against Parada's fighting style inside the octagon, but he has stressed that he is t talking from an analytical perspective, not trash talking. Parada's latest video does not seem to have gone down as well as he would have hoped. However, it will be interesting to see whether the two will face each other in the octagon on, or the PI. Will Anthony Smith's impressive performance at UFC 301 earn him a tie, uh, fight against Parada next? Let us know. You're, okay, never mind. Okay, so Anthony Smith comes on the podcast. He's on a podcast, right? Uh, I'm trying to think who's he, who's he on there. Is he? I think he's on there with Ryan Clark. No, Ryan Clark's on there with DC, I think. 
Oh, I think Anthony Smith might be about Michael Bisping. I can't remember. But anyways, he, he, he that's what he's part of, too. He's part of the analytical team, right? And then he gives his perspective from that manner as well. So since he's still fighting, people take it as he's talking shit, right? But I don't, me personally, I don't think uh, Alex Paredes got a lot of skill. It's just the fact he got a, he's a, a knockout artist and he and he you know he he he, he come you know he comes he bounces like that and he and he head hunts. But in my opinion, he's acting foolish. You know, going at after at, try, t going after a guy that's ranked tenth. Like, what are you doing? Like, come on, man. There's you know, go at go at the guys five, four, three, two, and one. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I mean, really, you know, three, number three, number two, and you're number one. So I don't understand that. It, it just, it's, it's, and you know, then, and then you want to mock and you want to do all that, you know, that, you know, how many times have we seen dudes do this in, in pro, in, you know, pro, in either uh, MMA or in boxing where these guys act a fool, act stupid with their opponents and the opponents make them suffer and pay with a loss or knock the shit out of them, right? And so I, I think po that's why I don't really respect. Uh, Parada too much with his uh, with all the antics, all his BS. Um, you know, hold yourself up high, be respectful, be be respectful, be that champion that people look up to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's just my opinion. It doesn't say, it doesn't mean it's right. Uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm right. That's just how I look at it. I just think when somebody's a champion, you know, you obviously get a lot of eyes on you. A lot of people admire you, look up to you, want to be like you if they're in you know involved in the same type of a uh, uh, profession. Uh, you know whatever sport that might be and you should always conduct yourself professionally very professionally right so with that said you know when it goes when it comes down to him and izzy you know oh yeah he won three and Izzy, you know Izzy only won one but technically i don't count the kickboxing shit it's different um you know yeah he's two and oh in kickboxing but mma uh ufc mma is different man it's totally different so I, you can't combine the two. You could say like, yeah, in professional and professional outings, uh, you know, Izzy's one and three against him or he's three and one. But the last time they faced Izzy knocked the shit out of him, knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? And he rocked the shit out of him the first fight in UFC. You know, uh, it's just he got he got kicked in that down there in his uh, in his uh, or I think he, what were he in his Achilles, I think. And it and it jacked up his equilibrium, which I'm not making no excuse for it. It was a good place kick. And it did its damage, and it worked, and it and it and it, it helped uh, Parada put him in the position for the ref to to step in and stop it. Uh, but um, I don't know. I, I mean, I think if, you know if Anthony Smith can keep from getting hit with those big old fists of his, because Parada is six four, so he is a big figure. Even though he don't look big, like heavy wise, he's still pretty big. I mean, he's got long arms, he's got big fists. He's six foot four, and he's a legit six four because when him and Izzy, Izzy's listed as six four, but he even looks taller than Izzy. So, um, you know, he might even be close, uh, maybe six four and a half, and they just list him as six four, or he's a legit six four, and Izzy's a, maybe six three. I don't know, but he he's definitely looks taller, and you can tell. Uh, you know, he's a he's a big dude. You know, everybody is saying they stand by him. They say, you know, his presence is like hulking over him. You know, not hulking, but like, you know, a tall, big figure. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, you know, he's bigger than what he really looks. Put it that way. You know what I'm saying? But he definitely has big fists. You can see it. And, you know, and then, like I said, he bounces and he comes and he comes and he tries to, you know, he comes head hunting. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that shit, we already know if the shit lands, Strickland, Mimi's, um, you know, Jamal Hill, Mimi's, you know, uh, Artesanya, Mimi's, you know, so he's got the power there. Um, and he's already won two belts and he's only got what eight, nine pro fights, you know, but there ain't no way in hell he's going to get John Jones. I don't even think his, I think John Jones could even take his power. No problem. Um, you know, of course, if he hits him in the right spot, he's going to, you know, knock him out because he hits him in that right spot. But it's, I mean, you know, Every, everybody has a puncher's chance, you know what I'm saying? But I, I just think John Jones is way too experienced with his collegiate experience wrestling and, and what he's done in, in the in the octagon thus far, you know, also winning two titles, taking long breaks and then coming right back after taking a long break and winning the heavyweight title in the first fight. That's very impressive. Uh, so we'll see what happens. What's next? Uh, if I hear anything, read anything next, I'll drop something on this situation. And with that being said, Big Lou tapping out. Baby, baby.